Hey, what's up everybody? This is Matt with Cure. And in this video, we're gonna go over picking out the right board size. All right, so this video is geared again more toward beginners picking out their first board but this could also apply to anybody at any point maybe your first board was too big maybe your first board was too small maybe you're going for your second third fourth board and you're looking to dial in the right size so if you haven't already watched our what to know before you start skateboarding video you should probably go and watch that um, we go into a little bit of detail on shopping for your first skateboard. So it might be worth watching that video or giving it another watch. So if you're shopping for your first board, a lot of times I will actually recommend shopping for a pre-built complete, which is the whole skateboard put together. But if that's not the direction you wanna go in, in this video, we're going to guide you through how to pick out the right board size for yourself. All right, so I've kind of developed a little bit of a system for picking out the right board size. And the system depends on either your age or your shoe size. First, let's go over why it's important to find the right size board. All right, so the number one reason that you're gonna to wanna to find the right size board is balance. Skateboarding is all about balance. And if you don't have your board size matched up to the size of your foot, everything's gonna be out of whack, your weight's not gonna be distributed properly, and that's gonna cause all kinds of balance issues for you. Another reason you wanna have the right size board is to make sure that your board isn't too heavy. The bigger the board, the more it's gonna weigh. The bigger the board, the bigger your trucks have to be. The bigger the trucks are, the more the trucks are gonna weigh. These little things all add up, and if you're not picking out the right sizes, you could end up with a board that weighs way more than it needs to. And weight is kind of important in skateboarding. So when we talk about board size, mostly what we're talking about is the width of the board. And these can range anywhere from seven inches to 10 and a half inches. Most common sizes are going to be more in the range of 7.75 inches up to like eight and a half inches. There are other measurements on a board that come into play as well. But for now, I think we're just going to worry about the width. Now, if you've ever been on like a penny board or a board that's just way too small for you, you're aware of how a smaller surface like that gives you a lot less stability. So basically when we're selecting a board size, what we're looking for is that perfect middle ground that keeps us stable, but doesn't add too much weight to our setup. So typically if you're five years old or younger, or if your height and body weight average to be about the size of a five-year-old or younger, what I'm gonna suggest is look for a mini deck. There are several companies that make mini versions of their regular board. And these mini decks are not only slimmer, but they also have a shorter overall length, which drastically reduces the weight of the board. Now, typically these mini size boards are no bigger than like 7.25 or 7.5, but this can get kind of confusing because some 7.25s or 7.5s may not actually be a mini. So when you're looking for a mini size board, look for you know the 7.25, 7.5, possibly even 7.75, but look for it to be followed by the word mini. Now, if you're over the age of five, but still under the age of, let's say eight or nine years old, chances are you might wanna step up to a slightly bigger size, get out of the mini bracket, and you might wanna look for like a 7.5 to 7.75 maybe even an 8.0. Now, once you're getting to like the age range of like nine to 12, that's where I suggest that you're looking more in the 7.75 to eight range, maybe even 8.125. I feel like an 8.25 is gonna be a little bit outside of the size range that we're looking for. Once we get past the 12 to 13 year old range, I feel like this is the point where we need to start evaluating the shoe size of the individual rather than the age range. Now, naturally, if you wear, let's say, a size five in men's shoes, you won't want a nine inch wide board. It's going to give you a lot of stability, but it's going to add a lot of weight. And again, you can get used to that weight, but for someone just starting out, I feel like it's adding another layer that doesn't need to be there to something that's already pretty difficult to figure out. So if you're over the age of like 12 to 13 and your shoe size 
ranges somewhere between like a, a US men's size five to eight. Personally, I think that you are going to want to look for a board size somewhere in the 7.75 to 8.125 range. If your shoe size is more in the eight to 10 range, then I think it's safe to step your board size up to anywhere between an 8.0 to say an 8.38. Um, in, in between those two sizes, there's 8.125 or 8.25 typically. Um, but anywhere within that range is probably gonna work for you. Now, if your shoe size is more in the 10 to 12 size range, this is when we need to think about a bigger board size to accommodate your bigger shoe size. If you fall within this range, I suggest no smaller than an 8.25, and you could even go up to like an 8.75. Now, obviously, if you're just looking for a board to cruise around on, you're not going to be doing much in the way of tricks, you basically just wanna cruise, then you can throw a lot of this out the window. Weight's not going to be so much of an issue for you. You're going to be looking solely for stability. There's no reason why someone wearing, let's say a men's size five, can't use a 10 inch wide board for a cruiser. So if your only goal with skateboarding is to just learn to ride one and just get from point A to point B, by all means, go get the biggest board you can find. But if you plan on learning any tricks, ollies, kick flips, tray flips, anything like that, you will want a board that doesn't have a lot of extra weight on it. And that's why this is important. All right, so in the description, I'm going to link directly to our website where you can review all of this information. And I've got some charts and things that we've put on our website that you could save to your phone if you're going to a skate shop or you could just order directly off our site based on the information that's on there. Either way, I hope you find this valuable and you feel like you know how to make the right choice when you go into a shop from now on. As always, if you have any questions or anything, drop them in the comments and I will reply to you personally. Thanks again for watching this video and please hit subscribe and check out our other videos. Thanks a lot, see ya.